thank you for visiting my YouTube channel to get your daily Bible verse and Bible chapter. I hope you have a great day and come back each and every day for a new verse and a new chapter. Thank you and God bless. First Kings 21. And then to top it off came this Naboth the Jezreelite on a vineyard in Jezreel that boarded the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. One day Ahab spoke to Naboth, saying, Give me your vineyard so I can use it as a kitchen garden. It's right next to my house. So convenient. In exchange, I'll give you far better vineyard. Or if you prefer, I'll pay you money for it. But Naboth told Ahab, not on your life. So help me God, I'll never sell you the family farm to you. Ahab went home in a black mood, sulking over Naboth, the Jezreelite words, I'll never turn over my family inheritance to you. He went to bed, stuffed his face in his pillow, and refused to eat. Jezreel's, his wife, came to him and said, what's going on? Why are you so out of sorts, refusing to eat? He told her, because I spoke to Naboth, the Jezreelite, I said, give me your vineyard, I'll pay you for it, or if you'd rather, I'll give you another vineyard in exchange. And he said, I'll never give you my vineyard. Jezebel said, Is this any way for a king to act? Aren't you the boss? On your feet, eat, cheer up. I'll take care of this. I'll get the vineyard of this Napos, the Jezreelite, for you. She wrote letters over Ahab's signature, stamped them with the official seal, and sent them to the elders in Naboth city and to the civic leaders. She wrote, call for a first, a fast day, and put Naboth at the head of the table. Then seat a couple of stool pigeons across from him who in front of everybody will say, You bless me, God, and the king. Then they'll throw him out and stone him to death. And they did it. The men of the city, the elders, and the civic leaders followed Jezebel's instructions that she wrote on the letters and sent to them. They called for a fast day, seated Naboth at the head of the table. Then they brought two stool pigeons and seated them opposite Naboth in front of everybody the two Nedjigators accused him 
of blasphemy, God, and the king. The company threw him out in the street, stoned him mercifully, and he died. When Jezebel got word that Naboth had been stoned to death, she told Arab, Ahab, go for it, Ahab. Take the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, for your own. The vineyard he refused to sell you. Naboth is no more. Naboth is dead. The minute Arab heard that Naboth was dead, he set out for the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, and claimed it for his own. Then God stepped in and spoke to Elijah, the Tishbite. On your feet, go down and confront Ahab and superior king of Israel. You'll find him in the vineyard of Naboth. He's gone there and to claim it as his own. Say this to him, God's word. What's going on here? First murder, then theft. Then tell him God's verdict. The very spot where the dogs lapped up Naboth's blood, they'll lap up your blood. That's right. Your blood. Ahab answered Elijah, my enemy. So, you've run me down? Yes, I have found you out, said Elijah, and because you've brought in the business of evil, defying God, I will most certainly bring you down upon doom upon you. Make mitts make of your descendants. Kill it off every male wrench who even repoly connected with the name Ahab. Ahab I'll bring down on you the same felt fate that fell on Jeroboam of Napat and Bathsheba's son Elijah you have made me angry by making Israel sin So Jezebel, God said, dogs will fight over flesh of Jezebel all over Israel. Anyone trained by Ahab who dies in the city will be eaten by stray dogs. Corpse in the county will be eaten by carrying cows. Ahab pushed his wife, Jezebel, and open defiance of God, set all-time record in making big business of evil. He indulged in outrageous obstacles in the world, copying the Amulites whom God had already kicked out of the Israelite territory. When they have heard that Elijah had to say, he ripped his clothes to shreds, dressed in presidential rough burlap, and fasted. He even slept 
in coarse burlap pajamas. He tiptoed around quiet as a mouse. Then God spoke to Elijah, the Tishbite. Do you see how penalty submissive Ahab have become to me because of his repentance. I will not bring doom during his life. Ahab, Ahab's son, though, will get it. Romans 10, 9. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe it in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. One of my favorite verses is Philippians 4.13. And it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If you have your own favorite verse, please put that down below and let me know what it is. Romans 10.9 If you declare with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe it in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Always remember to smile because you never know what a smile can do for someone's day. Thank you and God bless. Thank you for watching today's video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe so you can remember to watch each and every day's video. Thank you for the ones that have been with me from the beginning. Please help me expand my ministry. Thank you and God bless.